For over 65,000 years, Indigenous Australians have been the custodians of our great continent and its adjacent islands, living in harmony with each other and nature, a rich tapestry of cultures and languages. But when colonisation came to our shores, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples were massacred. They suffered from dispossession, marginalisation and the health and social issues that follow. In 1901, Australia's constitution was formed. However, it excluded the voices of Indigenous peoples. Australia's forefathers said that Indigenous people would soon die out. For decades more, the massacres continued, as did the prejudice and mistreatment. But Indigenous peoples have survived. In 2017, Indigenous people came together and made the Uluru Statement from the heart. With an eye to the lessons from the past, they look to the future, inviting the Australian people to accept recognition in our constitution through a voice. A voice will be a body that can make representations. It will be a unifying change because it will include Indigenous people in decisions made about them, while bringing together our ancient and modern cultures as one continuous heritage. We will share the longest continuing civilization on earth as foundational to who we are. It will also be fair. A voice will give Indigenous people a say, a fair income and guaranteed say that will help shape the policies, laws and programs that affect them. Just a say, or in another word, advice. Nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing to lose by listening, but maybe we can make things right. The voice will be Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, chosen from their regions, to focus on solutions to close the terrible gaps in health, education, employment and social wellbeing outcomes. Improvements to the constitution, like this one, must be decided by the Australian people in a referendum. So, in 2023, you'll be asked a question that is ultimately about unity and fairness. You may write either yes or no as your answer. A majority of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people would like you to write yes with us. Yes, we recognise you, our fellow Indigenous Australians. We agree we should listen so you can start to make things right. Authorised by Thomas Mayo, Maritime Union of Australia, 365 Sussex Street, Sydney.